my husband Terrell and I have been pastoring for the past um, close to 20 years. We have been in ministry for 30. We were youth pastors before that. And uh, we stepped out in 1992 and began to uh, start our own church. And we pastored in Central um, for a while and then multiplied out into Denham Springs and in the Watson area. And uh, we always knew that the church needed to be relational. And as it grew, we began to multiply the church because we wanted it to stay small so people could be in relationships with one another. We still knew something was missing uh, in the structure that we were in, but we could not identify what that was. We had cell church or cell group meetings during the week, which was a help, but it was still limited because the uh, moderators of the cell group still had to stick to the agenda that um, the pastor would hand out to the cell leaders every week and they were still limited in what they could share with the body because they had to stick to the, the agenda that was at hand. And, uh, but on Sunday mornings, it just seemed like people would come in, sit down, hear a sermon, get up and leave, and there was no true fellowship. We have always been a relational ministry. We have all, always believed in deep discipleship uh, with the, the sheep that God had put into our hands to take care of. And if they were not being shepherded properly, we had great concerns. And as our church grew bigger and bigger, there were nights I would literally lay in bed concerned because I did not know some of the people. I did not know if they were hurting. I did not know if they were saved. And that concerned me because I knew God required that from us to make sure that every sheep was properly tended to. And one night, Terrell began to speak to me about moving what we do on Wednesday nights on Sunday mornings. And I thought he was crazy. I said, how are we going to have cell group on Sunday morning? It didn't make any sense to me. He said, no, I think we need to have house church on Sunday morning. There is an intimacy that is lacking in the corporate worship that I know is necessary. Uh, we've always been convicted about Acts 2.42, where it says they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, in fellowship, the breaking of bread, and in prayer. And we tried to incorporate that in everything that we did, but Sunday mornings hindered that greatly because there were probably two out of four, most of the times three out of four of those elements that were missing when the uh, saints gathered. And also we saw that because we had a corporate meeting on Sunday morning, people tended to not fellowship with one another during the week. It's like that was their fix. That was their religious duty. They did those things and they were fine. We believed that the church needed to be the church to one another seven days a week, 24 seven. And in that structure, it began to tie the hands of the church. And so as we began to move into the house church model, we began to see the church released and, and all of her gifts. Uh, there, were, there were times I would sit and listen to those who had come in, sat down in pews year after year, heard the sermons, got up and left, as they began to share the wisdom and the depth of revelation they had, I would weep. And I would ask God to forgive us because they had not had opportunity. And um, I grew because of them. 